All digital electronic devices employ switches that perform specific logical operations. These switches, called logic gates, can have anywhere from one to several inputs and usually, a single output. Logic devices have two states, represented by the digits 0 and 1. The 0's digit is normally called low and the 1's digit is called high. Gates are used every day, in intelligent electronic devices or IEDs. Such as computers, microprocessors, smart house devices, metering and relays just to mention a few. A binary quantity is one that can take only two states. This is a binary arrangement. A switch in series with a power source and a light. The switch, can be either open or closed, and the light is either, off or on. We can now assign a binary number to the switch and the light. For the light, on, equals 1, off, equals 0. For the switch, closed equals 1, open equals 0. And in order to analyze these binary arrangements we devise, a truth table. This is a binary arrangement that has two switches in series with a power source and a light. Either switch can be, open or closed. The light will either be, off or on. As before we can now assign a binary number to the light in the switch, for the light, on, equals 1. Off, equals 0. For the switches, closed, equals 1. Open, equals 0. In order to analyze these binary arrangements we devise. A truth table. The two switches form what is known in logic gate terms as AN, AND, gate. We state its logic in the equation, L, equals S1, AND, S2. Here is another binary arrangement with two switches in parallel. Which generates the truth table. The two switches form what is known in logic gate terms as AN, or, gate. We state it logically in the equation, L, equals S1, or, S2. Here is yet another binary arrangement, this time with three switches in series. Which generates the truth table. The three switches form what is known in logic gate terms as a three input, and, gate. We state it logically in the equation, L, equals S1, and S2, and S3. Here is another binary arrangement with three switches, this time in parallel. Which generates the truth table. The three switches form what is known in logic gate terms as an, or, gate, we state it logic in the equation, L, equals S1, or S2, or S3. Here is another binary arrangement with three switches, this time in a combination, series parallel arrangement. Which generates the truth table. The logic of these three switches can be described by the equation, L, equals S1, and, the quantity, S2 or S3. In most solid-state systems, computers, etc., the logic is set up in terms of voltage levels. 0 volts equals a low logic level, or, 0, 5 volts equals a high logic level, or, 1, if we apply 5 volts to the input of the transistor in this circuit. The transistor is in a state of saturation, by virtue of the applied input voltage, 5 volts, through the two position switch. Because it is saturated, the transistor drops very little voltage between collector and emitter. Resulting in an output voltage of, practically, 0 volts. If we were using this circuit to represent binary bits, we would say that the input signal is a binary 1, and that the output signal, is a binary 0. Any voltage close to full supply voltage, measured in reference to ground, is considered a 1, and a lack of voltage is considered, a 0. Alternative terms for these voltage levels are high, the same as a binary 1, and low, the same as a binary 0. A general term for the representation of a binary bit by a circuit voltage is logic level. Moving the switch to the other position, we apply a binary 0 to the input, and receive a binary 1 at the output, putting the transistor into cutoff. What we've created here with a single transistor is a circuit generally known as a solid state logic gate, or simply a gate. A gate is a special type of amplifier circuit designed to accept and generate voltage signals corresponding to binary 1s and zeros. As such, 
Gates are not intended to be used for amplifying analog signals. Used together, multiple gates may be applied to the task of binary number storage, memory circuits, or manipulation, computing circuits. Each gate's output representing one bit of a multi-bit binary number. Just how this is done is a subject for further study. Right now, it is important to focus on the operation of individual gates. This gate with a single transistor is known as an inverter. Or a NOT gate. Because it outputs the exact opposite digital signal as what is input. For convenience, gate circuits are generally represented by their own symbols, rather than by their circuit diagrams of transistors and resistors. This is the symbol for a NOT gate. Logic gates are the building blocks used to create digital circuits. There are three elementary logic gates and a range of other simple gates. Each gate has its own logic symbol, which allows complex functions to be represented by a logic diagram. The function of each gate can be represented by a truth table. Rather than drawing out a network of switches and transistors, gate symbols are used in conjunction with their logic truth tables, to symbolize logic functions. This is the symbol for an inverter or a NOT gate. The logic is described. By its truth table, it has one input and one output. Remember our series switches circuit. We can now represent this system by the standard two input. And, gate. With the truth table, which is identical to the two series switch version. Again, Remember our series circuit of three switches. We can now represent this system by the standard three input and gate with the truth table which is identical to the three series switch version. Let's look at a practical example of a schematic that would include a two input and gate. What this truth table tells us in practical terms is demonstrated in the following sequence of illustrations. The two input and gate subjected to all possibilities of input logic levels. A light-emitting diode provides visual indication of the output logic level. Input 00, zero the output is 0. Input 10, the output is 0. Input 01, the output is 0. Input 11, the output is 1, which is indicated by the red light being on. It is only with all inputs raised to a high logic level, that the AND gate's output goes high, thus, energizing the LED for only one out of the four input combination states. A variation on the idea of the AND gate is called the NAND gate. The word NAND is a verbal contraction of the words NOT and AND. Essentially, a NAND gate behaves the same as an AND gate with a NOT, inverter, gate connected to the output terminal. To symbolize this output signal inversion, the NAND gate symbol has a bubble on the output line. The truth table for a NAND gate is as one might expect, exactly opposite as that of an AND gate. As with AND gates, NAND gates are made with more than two inputs. In such cases, the same general principle applies. The output will be low, or, zero, if and only if all inputs are high or, one. If any input is low, zero, the output will go high, one. Our next gate to investigate is the OR gate there can be any number of inputs. For example, this one has two inputs. And this one has three. The truth tables of each are depicted here. These are called OR gates, because, the output will be, low, or, zero, if and only if all inputs are low or, zero. The output will be, high, one, if any of the inputs are high, one. The following sequence of illustrations demonstrates the OR gate's function. With the two inputs experiencing all possible logic levels. A light emitting diode provides visual indication of the gate's output logic level. Input 00, zero output, 0, input 10, output, 1, red light on. Input 01, output, 1, red light on, and, input 11, output 1, red light on. A condition of any input being raised to a high logic level, makes the OR gate's output go high, thus energizing the light emitting diode for three out of the four input combination states. 
As you might have suspected, there exists an inverted OR gate known as the NOR gate which is an OR gate with its output inverted, just like a NAND gate is an AND gate with an inverted output. NOR gates, like all the other multiple input gates seen thus far, can be manufactured with more than two inputs. Still, the same logical principle applies. The output goes, low, 0, if any of the inputs are made high, 1. The output is, high, 1, only when all inputs are low, 0. Another gated function is the the negative AND gate. The negative AND gate functions the same as an AND gate with all its inputs inverted, connected through NOT gates. In keeping with standard gate symbol convention, these inverted inputs are signified by bubbles. Contrary to most people's first instinct, the logical behavior of a negative AND gate is not the same as a NAND gate. Its truth table, actually, is identical to a NOR gate. The output goes low, 0, if any of the inputs are made high, 1. The output is high, 1, only when all inputs are low, 0. Following the same pattern, a negative OR gate functions the same as an OR gate with all its inputs inverted. In keeping with standard gate symbol convention, these inverted inputs are signified by bubbles. This function can also be written as these equivalent gate circuits. The behavior and truth table of a negative OR gate is the same as for a NAND gate. The exclusive OR gate the last six gate types are all fairly direct variations on three basic functions, AND, OR, and NOT. The exclusive OR gate however, is something quite different. The output of the exclusive OR gate is a high, logic level 1, if the inputs are at different logic levels, either 0 and 1, or, 1 and 0. Conversely, the output is a low, logic level 0, if the inputs are at the same logic levels. The exclusive OR gate, sometimes called XOR, has both a symbol and a truth table pattern that is unique. There are equivalent circuits for an exclusive OR gate made up of AND, OR, and NOT gates, just as there were for NOND, NOR, and the negative input gates. A rather direct approach to simulating an exclusive OR gate is to start with a regular OR gate, then add additional gates that in combinations works like this. If A and B are the same, both 1s or both zeros, both AND gates outputs will be 0 making the outputs of the OR gate 0. If A and B are different, 1 and 0, one of the two AND gates outputs will be 1 making the outputs of the OR gate, 1. Thus the truth table holds true for this combination of gates meaning we can replace them with the exclusive OR gate. Exclusive OR gates are very useful for circuits where two or more binary numbers are to be compared bit for bit, and also for error detection, parity check, and code conversion. Finally, our last gate for analysis is the exclusive NOR gate, otherwise known as the XNOR gate. It is equivalent to an exclusive OR gate with an inverted output. The truth table for this gate is exactly the opposite as for the exclusive OR gate. As indicated by the truth table, the purpose of an exclusive NOR gate will output a high, logic level 1 whenever both inputs are at the same logic levels, either 0 0 or 1 1. The output will be low, logic level 0, if the inputs are different. This is the end of this chapter.